an elder statesman, an elder statesman hmm, saying this, that Buhari needs external extension to curb insecurity. Robert Clark, SCN, senior advocate of Nigeria. An elder statesman and senior lawyer, Robert Clark on Monday revealed that the president Buhari should serve for an extra six months to give him enough time to address the country's security woes. Clark disclosed that with less than a year to the 2023 elections, there was not enough time to address the insecurity to ensure a safe exercise. This is a... Uh, uh, are we for real? Senior advocate of Nigeria, the one seeing, seeing this. So what happened in the past? Uh, or oh, is this a sarcasm? Of course, uh, this man cannot come out and be playing uh, cracking jokes because this is jokes. If it is jokes, taking too far. It's a senior advocate of Nigeria. And the man is an elder statesman, very old man. I think the man should be over 80 years, suggesting that Ebuari should be given six months extra. And that was the exact six months he said that when he gets to office in six months, that uh, within six months, everything concerning insecurity will be a thing of the past. It will be history. Now you say he should be given six years. Somebody that spent seven years and couldn't even tackle insecurity. So extra six months is not going to be enough. I don't know on what basis is this man talking from. <clears throat> okay. He said Buari needs eternal extension to curb insecurity. Ah, this one, this one, uh, this one, a uh, uh, guy view. This one gets as he be. If now this man talk this kind of thing. While speaking on Arise television program, he equally noted that the constitution provided the president to extend his tenure for six months in the first instance if conditions were not right for an election. Can you imagine? If it's not right for an election, where is this man from? Who is this devil of a man called Robert Clark? When Nigerians are counting down, you want to extend six months. And a lot of things have been going on, honestly speaking. This is not a murder. This is genocide. For him to be suggesting this, this is not only murder, but genocide. Nigeria should arrest him for an attempted murder. Okay. Robert, hmm. thunder visits that your mouth. May thunder visit you in Jesus' name. May thunder with COVID-19 from pit of hell destroy you, Robert Clark, SCN, and your entire born and unborn generation. Oh, sir, I'm highly disappointed in you. How can you talk of extension for who can cope security for eight years? Who cannot cope security for eight years? No, 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 no. You say no, no, no. Ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> this man... Whether this man was taken out of context, I don't understand. I think at this Robert Clark of a person need a deliverance <laughs> by all means. <laughs> the insecurity Buari could not cope in seven years. He can now cope in six months. If you are asking an extension for Buari to give Nigeria a new constitution or to restructure Nigeria, that would be pretty understandable. Not because of insecurity. Because as far as we are concerned, this insecurity, Buari never had any plan he never had any plan to tackle with insecurity just that uh, nigerians are always forgetful and the reason why nigerians are always forgetful is that uh, we have a lot of problems on our hands as you are thinking of that one 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 problem another one is coming up because if people could think deeply the statement made by buhari which he has not even debunked to today the statement has been re-echoing over and over again over the time he's been re-echoing saying that uh, any attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north. So what do you now expect? So if people had remembered or thought through about that, they wouldn't have even voted for this man. Because from onset, this man was never ready for insecurity, to fight insecurity. And that is what is playing out now. So if anybody is suggesting that they uh, should be given um, more time to, to deal with this, that means the person doesn't know what he's doing. So people might say, oh, could it be that this man is... Uh, he's been uh, disturbed by old age, but I think he knows what he's talking about. Extension, sorry, you are not sure. Extra six years, not six months. Mad people everywhere. This is his speech. Robots, God will judge you and those planning to make Buari to continue this wickedness. It's not going to happen. Huh? But uh, don't just say uh, we too. We should not even be too sure because we always say ah no 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 ah for waiting it cannot happen. I can remember when Namdekanu was talking about a Fulani's men that they will come and do this. Everybody say forget it will not happen, but it happened. Oh me me, 
everybody, nobody could do anything. Those who are fighting are fighting. Those who see, they not even even talk about how they were warned. They were not prepared. Okay, so but unfortunately, a lot of people paid with their lives. A lot of people paid with their lives. So, for Buari to do what? <laughs> This is a, a, a joke taking too far. That's just the way I see it. That's just the way I see it. It's just unfortunate that he should be he should be allowed to elongate it. Who is going to do that? Don't be surprised because this is so-called robust stamp uh, sentence that we have. Now they have adjusted the... I don't know whether this, this is called bill or constitution to allow Buhari to be able to vote. Okay, why didn't they within their party to allow Buhari and the rest to be able to vote in their APC primaries? What does that tell you? If people can be doing this kind of a thing, you think uh, there's anything that would be too difficult for them? The Senate president has once said that anything that Buhari brings to their table, this is for the good of the people. They will sign it. That there's nothing because they believe that uh, Buhari he has the interest of the people at heart. So anything he brings to them, they will attend to eat. And that's why Nigerians are calling them rubber stamp. Calling them rubber stamp. It's just so, so, so pathetic. Can imagine such a thing. And somebody is telling us, yes, now, who are the people that is calling that they should give Buari? If they just suggest it, or somebody suggests it, Buari, this uh, alarm, Ahmad Lawa, you will just agree to that. Of course, he cannot come and say, oh, this is what we are going to do, but all those uh, lawmakers that we have, you think all those ones uh, have interest of the people at heart? Once they just put them for corner, just give them small team. They are good to go. So far, they are comfortable with their immediate families, not even extended families. They are good to go. They don't care. They can do anything. They can sign anything. And that, that was why this uh, the deputy senate president, Omar Gige, was boasting. We're going to talk about that later. He was boasting that he, he, he single-handedly made one law. I don't know the law he was talking about, but he just made that statement. He was boastful about that. So if somebody can come out and say, I think, why did he do this? Then what do you expect? Now that this man, I don't know, because that's why a lot of people are saying, this uh, this Clark of a man, you see, disappointment, Robert Clark. It's SCN for that matter. Dabuari needs extension to cope, tenor extension to cope insecurity. Ha. Hey, this, this, uh, this, should, this man shouldn't have said this. So. He shouldn't have said it at all. Because before you know, it's a hmm. well. We know that Ebuari, with the way things are going, they have their they have a different agenda, and that's why some people are saying that he might use a Obasanjo strategy in this their primaries. Now that everybody is coming out like ants to purchase hundred million naira form, and you think uh, it's uh, shire shire, no be shire shire, they know what they are doing. And Panko Yakasai has come out to say the Kaba, the presidency, uh, the Kaba in presidency are the ones coming out with this plan just to frustrate the southerners and some of them like i said some of them do not even have sense they don't even care so far they give them anything anything goes that's all so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this